Hi, I'm posting another video about some of the amigurumi that I have made recently. I believe that's how you pronounce the name of animals like this. That's the word written. Uh, I posted a video on the Little Mermaid there that I made for my niece. And in that video I said that I had gotten this book and when I was looking at it, I found a dragon that I wanted to make for my nephew for his birthday. Well, I finished the dragon, and here he is. He turned out a lot cuter than even I was expecting. He has quite a bit of personality, I think, just by the way he ended up being sewn together. And how the head didn't go on as straight as I wanted it, but I think it turned out better that way. It looks like he's just looking to the side. There's a lot of detail in this one. All thanks to the pattern. Ended up being quite a bit of work. But well worth it in the end. And of course, because I made something for my nephew and for my older niece, I had to make something for my younger niece, who is currently absolutely obsessed with unicorns. And this book had a unicorn pattern. So this is the unicorn. I did modify the hair, put a lot more on it. So I think that's the really pretty part. And she picked out the yarn color. I gave her a choice between this variegated and this variegated and she chose this one and it's just the perfect size for her she loves little things and she totally hugged it to her chest and that was before I had its arms or legs on or its hair and she loved it so there's that one and my nephew loved the dragon he has seen it but he actually gets to keep it today as we're celebrating his birthday today, so I wanted to get a video done showing everything made before I give it away. <laughs> but I really liked how he turned out. And even if he was done in different colors, I think it'd be cute too. But my nephew's color is green, so I wanted him green, and plus the pattern had it done in green. And I'm opening the book to the page here. So. I think I did a little bit darker green, but at Hobby Lobby, where I got the yarn, this was the green that they had. He turned out great. So. There we go. And I'll, just, I'll show you, here's the unicorn, and here's the hair that they showed. And how they pinned it on individual strands. I did it differently to give it more hair. Cute little unicorn though. So these are all the different designs. Definitely worth the money for this book. If you're into this type of um, crochet work and animals and stuff like that. Definitely worth it. I think I'll make quite a few of these. I'm going to make this one next. I'll be using that as examples on how to do this kind of, this kind of crochet. So look forward to those videos. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon with more crochet videos. Bye.